now on to episode nine. And oh goodness me, this is this is going to be another busy episode if I do think so. Uh, anyways, uh, hello everybody, it's Dean Spillabine back on your screen playing some Satisfactory on the twenty by twenty world. And I want to show this really quick. I uh, I moved my drop pod location just kind of up here kind of decorated it a bit. Uh, this is where my respawn's going to be for now. Anyways, plans that I got for today... Uh, let me just recap what we got so far. Well, so far we've automated heavy frames, computers, and circuit boards. And that's pretty cool and all, but now we're missing the final component. Automated wiring. Automated wiring requires some stators and some cables. Oh me oh my, the cables. Why do I say, oh me oh my? Well, look here. 750 cables required for the uh, automation of auto cables. Alright, so I'll just put some constructors down. I need 66 constructors just for wires alone, and then half that for the cables. Ew, that's gross. Doesn't really help my situation that I only have a limited space to build in. And if that wasn't enough, I want to try to finish the current phase of the space elevator. Again, versatile framework and modular engines automated as well. But I'm, I'm just focusing on the auto wire at the moment and I'm gonna need some constructors, but I want to try something a little different using the blueprint designer. And I've already kind of made this, but I just want to show it off. Uh, there we go. Up, 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 up. There we are. What we got here? Oh, we got two smelters and four constructors. All of the everything merging together. There's going to be a splitter on top where the copper ore is going to go into the smelters and gets distributed to the constructor, set for wire, and then output the wire. Basically, this is just going to make building all of the constructors much easier. I'm also going to need a bunch of constructors for the cables, but I'm going to do one thing at a time and just work on the wiring. Alright, time to pull out this handy blueprint to see what I can do with this. It's to be turned in this direction, yes. Get it really close to the side place. If I keep placing, it should place automatically. Let's see, how many were placed down? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I need ten more of these seconds. Right orientation, looks like it. We'll place it down. And. Encroaching another square. What clearance am I encro encroaching? Is that the space elevator? That might actually be it. Uh, well, that's aggravating. It can fit, but it's, it's in the space elevator, so it don't. And I'm not even sure if I can place back down the space elevator once I delete it. So. I've got to plan something else, I guess. I might actually be able to make a smaller variant of this. Well, let me let me go do something. So if the problem is that it's encroaching on the space elevator's limit, let's uh, delete half of it and update the title to match it. Okay, let's try this again and hopefully it works this time. That's the hope. Wait, did I? I miss a I missed a conveyor. Hold on. Yeah, you, you, you're incorrect. Save. Yes. Now I think if I do this, it should be all right. All right. Is this conveyor belt in the correct way? No, it is not. Does that matter? I can fix that. Oh no! All of them are going to be inconsistent. <laughs> uh. Well. Just go, go fix that in the design. You! You're incorrect. Get get out of here. That, 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 that and then that. Uh, save my work, yes. And now I can actually place these here without the space elevator being angry. So yeah, there's a gap in the foundations, but I can easily just uh, erase these and replace them. So 26 over there, and 1, 2, 3, 6 and a half times. 2 instead, 13. 26 plus 13 is 39. 66 minus 39, I need 27 more constructors. What was it? 6.5 times 4 is 26. <laughs> what is it with the stuff that I make and things just being worn off? Uh, I can just overclock something to work fine. Okay. 
holy goodness. Get these two smelters downgraded. So that's another one, two, three, four, five, six and a half. So that's another 26. So I need to get one more constructor's worth. So I can actually fully clock that one and overclock this one to 60 a minute. Mark that just so I don't forget. Unmark that so I don't forget. So I think that should be all of the constructors that I need. Also going to take the time to put down some catwalks, because they look neat. Well, everything looks like it's being powered. Uh, I will do some logistics calculations later. I gotta get the copper required to uh, make this actually work. So, how much copper do I actually need for this project specifically? Uh, about 990? Something like that. And I remember, if I go way over here, there's a copper node over there, copper node, copper node. There might be some other ones over there. So it's a normal using a Mark II miner. So 60 to 120. I can bump you up to 300. Wait, are the other ones 300? Because if so, I, I have a 90 deficit. Normal, nor. Well, oh, that's not good. Oh, well, there's that one. Am I using that one right now? Ah! Uh, Looks like I've actually already got this one hooked up, it's just not being used. Hmm. Yep, you're a node. Alright. So let's see, I need 990 and I have 480 so far, so I need 510 remaining. So let's see, 120 times 3, 120 times 3, 360. So I need 150 left, and I overclock you to 150, plus 150, so 270. Yes, at this rate, exactly. Cool. Now to get everything belted together, which is not going to be too difficult. For now, get in your copper, you're needed. I wonder in the future if we're going to get different ways to store items in our inventory. Because it always feels like you never have enough inventory space. Although that's kind of with all games, so... Is it really a satisfactory issue, or is it a me issue? or the other. So let's see, that's two 480s coming in, and then there's the 130 here. Uh, let's see, I think if I just plug you into here. Don't tell me, did I? No, I forgot to flip these the correct way around. Ugh. Well, now I gotta figure out how I fix this. Ugh. Get it in the correct orientation, and then get splitters on top, to then I'll uh, do this, to then do that. There we go. Okay, that problem's fixed up. Now I gotta just connect everything onto it. So now the smelter should be running, which also means the constructor should be running soon. Ah, that actually didn't take up as much space as I thought it would. What are you guys? What's wrong with you? No copper, what's wrong with you? No ore, what's wrong with that? I didn't finish plugging them in, that's why. But while I'm working on that, I guess I can work on getting cables connected. Or manufactured, whatever. So, I only actually need 1500 wire to make the cables needed for the auto wiring. So, I just need to figure out the rates on these. So, let's see, this row has 6.5 plus. One, so seven and a half, just because of how that constructor works. Seven and a half times thirty is two twenty-five. Oh wait, isn't it? Oh, it's sixty. So sixty four or fifty. Okay, that makes sense. And I think at some point uh, there's going to be more wire than any of my conveyor belts can actually output. So I'm going to have to make sure that I split things correctly at the correct areas. Of course, this problem wouldn't exist had I have Mark V Vader belts, but that's not possible. So let's see, this one actually has six and a half, so I'll just connect that to six, so 390. Wait, wait, I did my math wrong. It's 6.5 times 4 times 60, right? No. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so 6.5 times 4, well, that's not right. So I needed 1980. Divide that by 30 
Wait, did I do my math wrong? Did I do my math wrong and I just needed only 33? Huh. Well, I feel... slight dumb. So I only needed 33 constructors and not 66 that I calculated? Because I... oh my gosh, I put the input and the output mixed up again. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. Uh, room for expansion. If I need more wire, I can just throw more ore into this area. Whoa, easy modulation. It's like I designed things to be modulated or something. So let's see, if I actually do have 66 constructors here, they're producing 60 wire a minute, so this thing can produce nearly 4,000 wire a minute, which is double what I thought, because I'm after all. Okay, I think I got it all sorted out, and again, whenever I get more copper, I can just upgrade this. Definitely plant it all, the, all along, definitely. Okay, so we just need 25, 26 constructors, something like that. Oh gosh, I, I'm still so un... <sighs> Hold on, there's, there's a thing for this. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Why did I math that? Oh... <laughs> Anyways, uh, 25, 26 constructors, something like that. I gotta... But just, just need to do something else. Just arrows everywhere now. Inputs and outputs. That's all this game is. This is really such a messy setup, but I like it. For some reason I just like the spaghetti mess. How about that? Ooh. Oh my goodness me. Barely missed. See, how am I gonna hook up power to this without clipping? Might actually be able to use these metal beams. Uh, yeah, I think I think I'd be fine with that. Okay, yeah, I think I'll do this. Satisfactory is a weird game. You can play it however you want. You, you can do what I do and just make a giant factory in a limited area, and it's probably just as effective as using the entire world as a resource, and just making factories here and there all over the world to do whatever you want. And I think the devs found a very happy medium between uh, allowing for perfection to be a thing, but also being I guess light on the rules enough to where you can break as many as you desire to do whatever you want. I can't wait for this game to actually be finished and get out of early access, whenever that is. But I'll definitely be there for that. Okay, so I should be able to activate that and start making cables. Yeah, everything seems to be working. I think this is just one of those I gotta make sure everything runs for a while first before... <sighs> Well, while I'm waiting for that to get caught up, I guess I could make some steel pipes. Just steel in general, because I'm going to need a lot. Anyways, steel requirements. I actually did run the numbers here, I'll probably double check them later. So I'm going to need 1,040 steel ingots, which means I'll also need that amount in coal and iron per minute, which I believe I can use my... Uh, whole thing here for because it's in um I uh, no <laughs> what what the excuse me sir what are... sir are you okay you just <laughs> uh uh thanks I think that's wrong. <laughs> okay, I don't have five million coal coming in per minute, that's absurd. But I do believe I have about a thousand five hundred per minute coming in, and I'm only using a portion. Or the other option is replace all of my coal generators with fuel generators, because I do need to do that at some point. Hmm. Well, you are a uh, wonderful help, 
coal generators just to get my whole uh, factory up and running, but I have evolved to fuel generators. And that should... yeah, this started on my backup power, alright. So with how my coal is at the moment, I can only transport two with this truck station, like two Mark IV conveyor belts worth. Or I can get a second truck stop right next to it. That actually will work. I might have to edit the trucks a little bit just to... Goodness. Only 88 items per minute now. You're, you're slacking, sp uh, spooky truck. Slacker. <laughs> Didn't expect a jump scare from a tractor of all things. Okay, second tractor's going up. Let's give some storage containers in for them. Why do I hear a tractor? Hello? Tractor? I, I heard you. Tractor? Whoa! There you are, where'd you come from? We may never know. Also think I'm going to expand it. Whoa! <laughs> uh, hello? Yeah, I, I need to expand out this ramp. I don't think the tractors like it. And if tractors don't like this ramp, uh, I'm not sure if I can expand out this way, but I can expand out the other. Yeah, if tractors don't like this, I don't know why all trucks will... Is he under the flooring? Oh, you are under the flooring! That's why you kept breaking. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, my guess is that they don't like non-solid floor. Hey, can you shut up? <laughs> Alright, time to get trucking. And let me check its fuel. Fuel's going in correctly. Cool. I didn't think about this. I might need to move these conveyor belt. Oh no. No, not the clear- No! Okay, attempt number two. Let's try this again. Oh no, the bean. No, no! <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, I might need to downgrade to tractors again. Because this area is way too small. Uh, ooh, it can just barely go through. So, editing and coming in here for a little bit. Uh, I spent like three hours on this project. Uh, here's the result. I don't feel like organizing the three hours of content, but uh, here's the end. Okay, so, after some extensive testing, I have concluded that I need Mark V belts if I ever want this to actually work anyway. The where is the... there's the truck. I've kind of figured up that I only really need one truck to do this whole run, because by the time that this truck gets back, this truck station runs out. That's what I would say. It's a bit more than normal. Come on, you can make it. You made it. But uh, basically, this whole truck station gets filled up pretty quick. But uh, now I gotta get it transferred over to this truck station which just isn't fast enough, and I just need Mark V belts. Uh, that's basically my issue. So blah blah, yada yada, if I want to go any further with this project, I gotta get aluminum. And in order to get aluminum, I need to get them with this current... But, uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll work on the steel now. Let's see, got about 10 foundries here at the moment. Does that fit nicely? It does, nice. See smart splitter up here. Uh, overflow goes that way. Unidentified to the left. On the left will then get two constructors. So these two will be creating steel beams. I need approximately five constructors using those steel beams from here to make screws. Uh, let's see. Here's the recipe. Get that copy pasted to all these constructors. Now that I think about it, I'm putting in a bunch of machines that might actually require me to upgrade my power again. Okay, so steel production is ready. And just route it over to here. And uh, now need... what was it? Nine constructors working on pipes. Okay. Let's see if I can squeeze them in here. 
Is this a good idea? I don't know. It makes a lot of spaghetti, but I like looking at spaghetti, oddly enough. Because there's so much movement everywhere. Okay, steel pipes are ready, wires are kind of ready, and they're not accurate at the moment, but I don't have any other options at the time. So now I gotta get stators automated in this area. And I need 12 assemblers. One, two, three. I can get three in a row. Let's see, how am I gonna do this? Yeah, probably with some lifters on different levels. Mmm, that's a bit close, isn't it? Can I put it under? No, it's a little close. Mmm. Hmm. Can get conveyors out. So I might be able to just do the good old conveyor stacking technique. At least that's the hope. Well, let's see. So I can at least get two of these out without any issue, and I can just do the one on this end going the other way. And then having to know their own separate merging line, lane thing, that should work out. Okay, it looks like everything's hooked up except power, which I'm going to do in a big old montage at some point. But uh, now I got staters outputting to down here. Now I just got to get a bunch of assemblers around here for automated wiring. Of which, uh, automated wiring... 2.5 is the normal recipe. 37.5, so 2.5. I need 15 assemblers. I don't think I have enough room here for that, but I'm gonna try. Let's see, does that work out? We can go more back. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. And then need to build a wee bit higher. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, there we go. It's time for Splitter Mania! Do some Splitter Mania! Okay, and I think that should be the last little bit of this area. I just gotta get these cables connected up there, and not clipping through everything. There we go. Hey, this one's tilted? What the heck? I don't think I've ever seen a tilted box. That's weird. Okay, that's stators and cables connected. Now the big question of where do I want air conditioners to be automated because I have all of the stuff required to make them. Uh, problem though, it does take up a lot of space so I probably should make it about here-ish. Something like that. Automated control units. Time to make some. And if I fully overclock these, I should be able to get five manufacturers worth. That basically means I'll get five in total, which is what I was wanting anyway. Now how do I get them here? I think I will use some conveyor lifter holes. See if I can get all of the automated wiring merged together. I'm doing this all without having to test everything. Which, uh, I have no idea how many problems there's gonna be when I actually put this thing to the test. What's the problem? Floor too. Why is the floor too steep? Let's see, how about now? Yeah. Hmm. I guess that was a bug. Oh, but can you somehow find the source of that? No, I can't find the source of that bug. That makes no sense. Okay, so they're all connected to this one merger, and I think if I use the invader ceiling mount, get you up there, merger down there, uh, Let's see, this might prove to be a little difficult because I gotta be like on the ceiling most of the time. Mm -hmm. Honestly not as bad as I'm making it out to be, can definitely be harder. So that's automated wiring connected, I obviously can't see that right now because I haven't plugged anything in, 
Now I gotta get circuit boards, computers, and heavy frames. And hello, computers. You seem to just be minding your own business. Let's get you all around this conveniently placed concrete column. Let's see, connect you to that. Get a splitter. And a lifter here. Yeah. And circuit boards are next. I'm just going to smart split these off. Okay, circuit boards are automated. That's good. And now for heavy frames. At some point I'm going to have to install lighting. Just so I can see what I'm doing. Let's see. I think I should just be able to connect this in. Yeah. And then have a splitter go off to that one. I think that's all of them. Oh boy, time to get everything powered. Oh boy, my favorite part of any build, getting things powered. And I'm really starting to use more of these, like, custom beam builds. Because <laughs> I'm going to need something very customized just to get stuff to places. Anyways, now that i got some stators working, that also means that some of the automated wiring is being made. I'll check that in a bit. Ooh, would you look at that automated wiring of being automated. <laughs> I doubt these things are working at 100%. Why are you not getting cables? Oh, I... Never <laughs> hooked up the cables to these splitters. <laughs> oh my gosh. Keep apparently missing conveyor belts. That one was missing a stator one. Speaking of stators... They're being made! Oh, I want to be there when my first uh, air conditioner gets made. That'd be nice. Are you... You are getting automated wiring. Same with you. Oh, it's making the first automate ad adaptive control units for air conditioner. <laughs> oh, there they are! Air conditioners, fresh off the market. So I've got a conveyor belt lifter that goes underneath everything. It'll eventually get those air conditioners down the conveyor belt all the way down to this one that gets routed to the space elevator. You know what? I think we know what this means. Air conditioners! Automated! Yes! I'm actually really happy I finally got that done. Goodness, this looks really cool. <laughs> this is definitely the kind of factory that I would love to build. Just a bunch of stuff stacked on top of each other, really close together. Uh... <laughs> Boundaries are very questionable. <laughs> and I got so much room down here to get like everything else automated. Ooh. Okay, modular engines, what do they need? Motors, rubber, smart plating. Motors need stators and rotors. Smart plates need reinforced plates and rotors. Main overlap is rotors, and I've got enough stators to work with this, so I just need to start making some rotors. Okay, I guess I can finally use my screw production over here. Actually, I think I need to change it up a little bit. I need to figure out where I'm going to have my iron plate set up, because uh, I'm going to have screws going towards the iron plate so that I can make reinforced iron plates. Because I'm going to be having the screws coming in to the iron plate so that I can make reinforced iron plates, so that I can make modular frames as well as smart plates. So I might just get that out of the way first. And iron plates need about 300 iron a minute, something like that, and I got a 300 iron a minute conveyor right here. Two, three, four, five... Is the audio overlapping again? Is it just that all these constructors are, like, overlapping their sounds or something? Uh... <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to need 10 smelters so that I can put it into 10 constructors to get the required everything. Get everything split off, get them hooked up to some power. This is kind of a routine thing at this point. And I think just to conserve space, I'm going to just put four constructors in this little area here and overclock all of them so that... I get uh, it's the iron plate requirements. I won't do this too often because this is a big overclocking cost. Although, apparently, if I have too many machines, then uh, the sounds that they make actually overlap and cause issues. Which is uh, not a thing I was wanting to be the case. Because uh, apparently, uh, making too many machines might accidentally cause their sounds to overlap and just cause issues. 
Okay, so iron plates are ready. I just gotta get a couple assemblers out for the reinforced plates. And I'm gonna be using the bolted iron plate recipe, which basically has a much higher screw requirement, but you also get a much higher reinforced plate output. But uh, it's basically one of those recipes that's more space efficient, but less resource efficient. Luckily, I have tons of resources and not a lot of everything else. Anyways, what do I need? Approximately two. I say approximately, because these things require 31 iron plates a minute. And, uh, well, these things can only produce about 15, so, uh, there we go. Anyways, uh, let's see, merge you two together so that I can get a Mark IV going through. Actually, it doesn't work. These are producing 250, so combining that together is 500, which isn't enough. I'm gonna have to be a little creative with where everything comes from, aren't I? Nothing of you ceiling conveyor belts can't fix. Just merge you into there, and I think that should be the screw requirements. Which also means refined plates are met for the moment. I now need to get rotors made. Rotors are aggravating, because uh, according to this recipe I need eight of these assemblers. <sighs> Gosh, I'm getting aggravated just thinking about using this little space. Can they go down at all? Ugh, that's gonna look so cursed, though. <laughs> I knew I would be building up, but I never considered the part where I might need to be building down, too. Four, five... Not six. Uh... Can I, like, not get that there? But you can fit... I'm aggravated. I guess I can't fit it along the... You know what, never mind, never mind. I might need that room. Uh, I'll just overclock some of these. You know, I got kind of curious. I wanted to see how many of these, like, power shards you can actually get in the game. So there's these, uh, power slugs that you get as collectibles in the world. I turned them into power shards. And apparently there's, like, 700 or so of these slugs in total. And if you're able to somehow collect all of them and turn them into power shards, then you can get... over 1,500 power shards? I doubt I'll ever get to that point, because that's a lot, but, uh, it's possible. Alright, screws are ratted, now I gotta get the rods down there. Sure, because the this definitely works. I definitely know what I'm doing here. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, the air conditioners are done, so I can actually mm, for the moment I'm gonna cut that. So there's no more items going to the space elevator. Because uh, I might just recycle those. I don't have Wait, do I have something hooked up for that? Correction, I can hook up something for that, if I take that out, route this conveyor into this merger, and then it'll immediately go through my whole sorting system, which will then delete the item because it's not an item in my system, so it just gets deleted. So uh, how many of these air conditioners have I overmade? Oh, a nice little tower of them. <laughs> I wonder... I'm actually not producing that many of these a minute, I wonder. I don't know how I'll think about this until like way later down the line. But what if I combine the router conveyors with the refined plate conveyors and then have a split off section later just so I don't have to have two conveyor belts of these items? That sounds crazy, but it could work. Now, let's see, where do I want 
everything else. I guess I could build something else here, and then have a platform on top of it all. <laughs> gosh. Let's see, oh gosh, because this is getting... Goodness. Yeah, that's what this is getting. It's just getting goodness. Let's see, where is the stator overflow here? I know for a fact I put one some. Did I just not? I must have not. So let's see, that's getting overflowed up to here, of which I could probably overflow here, send it around. Definitely a bit of a weird way to go about this. Uh, I don't even know if this will work, just combining three resources into one little area. I just remembered something. Let me go find the MAM real quick. I think there was something under Caterium near the end. Programmable splitters. I actually think this will help me in what I'm doing. Just trying to condense things and unpack them. Let's see, I need high speed connector. Hmm. Actually, I might cheat the system. Uh, let me uh, get some tickets real quick. Hello, awesome shop. I would like to buy some items. What are these items in particular? Oh, I would like some high speed connectors. You know, no reason in particular. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, now we're just gonna sneakily store these away for later. What? Yes, I would like to get supercomputer research that would allow me to get programmable splitters that requires 50 supercomputers. Oh gosh. Question, can I craft supercomputer? I can craft supercomputer? <laughs> what? I didn't think I'd be back at the crafting bench for a bit. <laughs> Let's see, I think I need some more high-speed key. Oh, I could just... <laughs> Sure, I'd like to buy some supercomputers, no problem at all. Well, uh, I got some supercomputers now, don't have them automated at all, but um, I, got, I got coupons. <laughs> Anyways, what does the programmable splitter do? Well, you can have programmable outputs for everything. So, if you want stuff to go in a specific direction, you can have only one type of item going, or you can have multiple items going in. Uh, as cool as that is, that's not entirely useful. However, the main purpose that they do have is that they have a way for you to just send multiple items to an area. So I can send staters and rotors to the left. I can also send reinforced plates and rods to the center and rotors and reinforced plates to the right. So what that means is that all I have to do now is just use normal smart splitters to just split off everything that all of these assemblers need. And then any overflow is just uh, sent to my recycling system. So I got myself a little setup here and I ended, only ended up using like two of the pathways Mostly because since the reinforced iron plates kind of overlapped, I thought, okay, so uh, half of the iron plates will go towards making the modular frames, the other half will go towards the smart plates, and anything excess gets sent all the way to sorting. And so far it's not working at peak capacity because it just needs to get the iron plates, although I'm not sure when exactly that will be, and goodness me, I really do need a hover pack at some point. Uh, the jetpack is not going to cut it anymore. <laughs> Goodness. And I do think the this strategy of conveyor belting is called sushi belting, where you just put everything on one belt and then sort it out later. And uh, that programmable splitter does actually work in that department. It's not really useful otherwise, but this is good for just unpacking complex shipping. <laughs> So yeah, not working at peak capacity yet, but I can start working on the versatile framework, kind of doing something not similar, but just getting stuff ready for that. How many steel beams do I need? Twelve constructors worth, gotcha. Okay, some amount of time later, I'm not really sure how much time has passed since I actually did this because I did a uh, few things. So I kind of let this upper area run for a while just to try and uh, get things, places, and get stuff filled up. Uh, wires are filled up, which is nice. I do have an overflow buffer here. 
to the moment because I need to figure up stuff. Kind of to the side, I got two manufacturers fully overclocked producing modular engines. Problem is that I don't have motors coming in too well because if we go over to the motor assemblers, I don't have many stators coming in. It might also be that now my stator factory is working at full production and it's just uh, it's, it's filling up the automated wiring first before it fills up any of the motor production. So I might need to work on fine-tuning things to increase the amount of stators or just have everything running long enough for it all to fill up. I also got versatile framework done and automated. I think same thing with the stators. I need to make sure the steel ingots are being processed correctly because not everything's being manufactured at the correct rates or whatever. Or maybe I'm overproducing or underproducing by a small margin. It's hard to tell until like I just let this run for a long time. Let's see, uh, there's a motor. We'll just follow it for a bit. Hello Mr. Motor, how are you today? I know you're spazzing out of reality, but uh, it's a very nice journey, isn't it? It's a lovely journey. Lovely journey to uh, modular engine manufacturing. And off he goes. Into the manufacturer. So is this one? No, I guess there's no way for this one to make motors yet, because I have I have a similar system back there where smart plates as well as motors get onto this smart splitter system. So it'll have to wait till these motors are full before the other modular engines get made. But that does mean that I have versatile framework, modular engines, and the air conditioners done! Now for another problem, I am nearing my power consumption again. I feel like a broken record constantly saying this, but I'm just out of power again. I haven't like recently overclocked my fuel generators so that they work better, and uh, it's still not enough. I even have my heavy frame production offline at the moment, because if I uh, go over here and turn it back on, my consumption jumps up to 7,500. It keeps rising. What that means is that I only have about two hours left of power before everything just doesn't work. And uh, for the time being, I don't really need that, so I'll just have it off for now. All that is really telling me I need to figure up how to get more power here, because I'm out of power. <sighs> Things just never change, do they? Well, I think I'm just going to end the episode there. A lot of work today, again. I seem to be doing that a lot, but I need to work on getting the space elevator done so that I can get access to aluminum, which gets me Mark V conveyor belts. But there's also nuclear power at some point, and I think I'm going to have to dedicate a whole episode to making nuclear power because uh, I'm always at my limits of power, so if I can get nuclear power at some point, that would be nice. How long until I get nuclear power? I don't know. I'll figure that out, I guess. Although the logistics of just getting nuclear power is a little complex, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. And uh, I said this quite a bit in this episode, but I like restating it. This factory looks pretty cool now. Might be interesting later on to like go up and down through the levels of the factory and just seeing like all the different versions that I've been going through. And just yeah, at this time, this is how I felt like playing. And then at this time, this is how it felt like playing. And then we just go crazier and crazier, it goes higher and higher, more complex strategies, more dimension usage, or something like that. Uh, you know what, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, hope you enjoyed watching at least some amount, and you all have a good night.